2007 Ford Explorer. I'm just gonna show you really quick what you need to do if you have to replace the uh, rear axle, which is right here, or if you need to replace the bearing. Uh, in my case, the bearing is bad. Um, I went ahead and bought this whole assembly from the junkyard because I don't feel like messing with that whole uh, bearing. So I just went ahead and bought one. Bearing's bad. What you need to do first is you're gonna have this upper uh, bolt right here, which is that. So take that out. And then if you go back here, you see you're gonna have one, two, three. I think they are size 20, 22, 21 millimeter. So this is 21 millimeter. I think this is 22 or 23. Uh, so it sits like that. So I took this off. I took this bolt off too. And then you're gonna have this bolt right here that you need to take out. And if you look back here, we got this out. Got the bottom one out right here. And I got this one out. <clears throat> Once you take that out, you basically have just a parking cable left to uh, unhook. So we're gonna pull the whole thing out. Also, you need to remove the uh, axle nut, by the way, right here. I think that is size 36, 36 millimeter. So we're gonna pull the whole thing out and then we can unhook the parking cable. Parking cable is just, uh, let's see what it looks like. So we're just gonna take the whole assembly out and then we're gonna compress the piston back a little bit and unhook this one. Then we're gonna put the new one in. Uh, like I said, this is if you have to replace the axle or the wheel bearing. Uh, if you don't wanna replace the wheel bearing because you need the hydraulic press to put the new bearing in the hub, <clears throat> the hub in the bearing, just buy the whole, uh, this whole thing, this whole assembly, all right? If you got any questions, comment below. Click on the subscribe button. Uh, that's it, thanks for watching. Also, I forgot to mention, don't forget to remove your caliper. I got my caliper right here. Caliper was right here. Rotor will come out when you take the caliper out. Caliper has two 10 millimeter bolts here. One, two, take those two 10 millimeter bolts off. They go right here. Take this off. Caliper will come out. Rotor will come out, then you can start working on it.